Eunus, peace be upon him, was sent as a prophet in the 8th century BC. His lineage goes back to his great-grandfather, Benjamin. God says in the Quran, they said, Are you indeed Yusuf? He said, I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. Allah has indeed been gracious to us. He who has taqwa and is patient, then surely Allah makes not the reward of the good doers to be lost. Our master Yunus, peace be upon him, was from the people of Nineveh, Yunus son of Metta, the Nun, the prophet of God and his messenger. May God's prayers and peace be upon him. And his lineage goes back to Yaqub son of Ishaq, son of Ibrahim. May blessings and peace be upon them. They are descendants of Sam, son of Assyria. They defeated many armies and established the great empire and civilization. In the 8th century BC, the Assyrians ruled by King Sargon II and his son, the young prince Sennacherib. Sennacherib took the city of Nineveh in northern Iraq as the new capital of the kingdom of the Assyrians and built a large temple to worship the goddess Ishtar. As the Assyrians were unfortunately idolaters, Sennacherib opened the great library of Nineveh and put in it all the scrolls he collected from the cultures of the people he conquered with his father. Among the most prominent of them were the works of the Babylonian civilization. The greatest enemies of the Assyrians at that time. What King Sion cared most about was his majestic and well-built palace, which he built on a prominent hill at the edge of the city and paved it with the famous Lion's Road. His son, Prince Sennacherib, was as voracious and was as he loved hunting lions. My lord Prince Sennacherib! What brought you here, minister? It is important, my lord. Don't you know I'm on a fishing trip? I know, I know that. But my lord King Sargon became very ill in your absence, and he insisted on meeting you. He is afraid of leaving the world without saying goodbye to you. My father! Prince Sennacherib interrupted his lion's hunting trip and returned quickly to Nineveh to check on his father, King Sargon II. As Minister Azia said, the prince was afraid the father king would die without saying goodbye to him himself. Father! Sennacherib, thank God that I saw you before death. You will not die, father. You will not die. Death is an inevitable end. Calm down, my son, and listen carefully to my will. Your will? Yes. You know how much I love Nineveh, the city we built together. I love it too. So show me your love for it. How? To stay in it and to complete what we have begun of rebuilding it, and not to leave it and go to other cities. You want me to leave the city of Babylon after we conquered it and liberated it from the hands of Babylonians? I have appointed your brother Sagor on the city of Babylon. Sagor is young, father, and he has no experience of ruling and fighting, and he will need my support. No, Sinakrib, don't leave Ninawa for the sake of Babylon. Father, if we leave Sagor alone there, Ator, king of Babylonians, will be greedy and return to the city we took from him. Your brother Sagor is able to protect Babylon at Nineveh, the capital of our internal kingdom. I will return to Nineveh, father, after I protect Babylon from Ator, and I will never neglect it. No, no, Sennacherib, don't leave Nineveh for Babylon. Don't leave Nineveh. Father! Father! And the people of Nineveh worshipped the god Ishtar. And our master Eunice, peace be upon him, used to worship alone on the top of the mountain and was divine. Worshipping God, the creator, and waiting for a new message from heaven. He was praying to God to send a message that would shine on the earth. And he used to pray to God Almighty and say in his prayers, My God, master and creator, corruption has spread and injustice has prevailed between the people and the country. People have deviated from the truth and we need heaven's intervention. O oh God and our poor of your great light that illuminates the hearts of the disbelievers as you illuminated the universe with your light and ruled life with your justice and wisdom. O God, grant victory to the oppressed, guidance to the perplexed, and some of your strengths to the obedient and oppressed. Meanwhile, the prophet of God, Eunice, peace be upon him, was receiving the revelation of heaven from our master Gabriel, peace be upon him. He was keen on memorizing the teachings of the new religion that he has sent with in order to return people to the path of truth and guidance. And here is Metta. 
the father of our master Eunice. Being worried as his son did not come back yet, he climbed the mountain to check on him. Meanwhile, the prophet of God Eunice, peace be upon him, was receiving the revelation of heaven from our master Gabriel, peace be upon him. He was keen on memorizing the teachings of the new religion that he has sent with in order to return people to the path of truth and guidance. <laughs> And here is Metta, the father of our master Eunice. Being worried as his son did not come back yet, he climbed the mountain to check on him. Eunice, you have spent days worshipping in your sanctuary and rarely come home. What happened to you, son? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, By God, Father, nothing but good has befallen me. My Lord chose me from among mankind and sent me as a prophet carrying the light of faith. Glory be to God. By God, I felt that a prophet from the descendants of my grandfather, Yaqub, would be chosen by God as a prophet in this time. I didn't know he would be you, son. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Pray to God, Father, to help me bear this heavy task, for nowadays it is too hard to call people to guidance after misguidance and to glory after humiliation. Rest assured, my son, as long as God sent you with the truth as a prophet, he knows that you will inevitably be able to carry out the consequences of the message. Glory be to him, knows where and how to spread his message. So God Almighty answered the prayers of his prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, and the sky shook, and that was the great signal of the beginning of the prophethood of the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, and it was a sign to start calling his people to worship the one and only God. The religion of justice, goodness, and guidance, and Eunice, peace be upon him, became a prophet. Meanwhile, our master Eunice, peace be upon him, was in his mahrab worshiping God and still receiving from him the teachings of the new religion that he was sent with. Eunice, my son, you have been in your sanctuary for more than six days. I have brought you food that would suffice you for more days. وإسماعيل واليسع ويونس ولوطا وكلا فضلنا على العالمين ومن آبائهم وذرياتهم وإخوانهم واجتبيناهم وهديناهم إلى صراط مستقيم ذلك هدى الله يهدي به من يشاء